you suck at wearing all black. That is something an elitist would say to a regular person. And if you didn't already know, my name is Fashion Elitist. Thank you for coming back to the channel. I also go by JQ. Anyway, let's get to the video. This question runs in my mind every day. And it was just something that kind of happened to come about in conversation with a friend of mine when I was walking down the street. And we kind of had a little discussion. And obviously I have my own thoughts and ideas about different things in fashion. Everyone has theirs. It's all subjective. It's all opinion. But any person that says fashion is subjective immediately closes down any conversation or even open discussion about maybe your thoughts and ideas about something because it becomes this whole opinionated thing where it just shuts you down for open conversation. Now, generally, yes, fashion is subjective, blah, 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 but these are my philosophies on why you suck at dressing in black. Now we gotta understand what black really represents. You think black is a sad color? Black is represented in a very deplorable way. Black is pretentious, black is modest, black is inclusive, yet it's also so exclusive. Most people can wear black, but most people don't own it. And there's a huge disparity between those two statements. Now let me dig a little deeper on, on black. Black is represented in very different ways, whether it's associated with sadness or if it's associated with being a pretentious asshole that wears CDG and comb on a day-to-day -day basis. Colors attribute to emotions from time to time, but black tends to be in the category of sadness. That's where people usually categorize it as. But to me, it's a consistency of being emotionless. It's consistent. It's neutral. There is no emotion to it. And that's how I view it. That's how I feel about because it. Because sometimes I get comments about why do you wear black? You know, black is such a sad color. Maybe you're just not a happy person. And I mean, look at me. I am so happy. But again, the thing is color, color expression, it all represents something different to different people. People might see me walking down the street and call me emo. Some people might see me walking down the street and be like, wow, he's an avant God. Whatever that may be, whatever comes across in the mind, it represents different things to different people. But I will tell you this right now, I don't wear black because I'm sad. I wear it because I'm cool and awesome and different and not like the other boys. Now I had stated earlier, most people can wear black, but most people can't own it. And what exactly did I mean by that? The inclusive thing comes from the fact that everyone can wear black and it looks great on everybody. It's really hard to brick an outfit that's all black. It's really hard to, but it, it's been done. It's It's been done. I mean, for the most part, if I would have to scale it out, you look like a beta if you dress like this in all black. And then this is a sigma male. And then we got our alpha male, the, the, the trifecta, the, the God, the Father, the Holy Spirit. Oh uh, wait, God, the Father, and the Holy Spirit. We have the, the trifecta, the hierarchy of, of black wearers. Now, the reason why it's exclusive is because there's these alphas and sigma males that wear the color to its full potential, that make black look beautiful, elegant, astounding. You look at these outfits down the street and you're like, holy shit. Like, wow, look at these outfits. Like, when I wear black, I look like this. But when they're wearing black, they look like this. How do I look like this? How do I get from that to this? I need to look like this. And in all honesty, it is a very treacherous road to go down. It requires money. It requires time. It requires brain power. Because at the end of the day, are you going to really be spending this amount of money on a Rick Owens piece, a Yoji piece? Ain't no way. <coughs> you use color as a crutch to make your outfits look more interesting. Now we come back to the statement, why you suck at wearing all black. Because I'm sure you're questioning why I would even say that to such a nice, humble young man like yourself. You suck at wearing all black because you don't own the color. You just wear it. It is very difficult to, to wear an all black outfit that isn't so consistent that people won't notice you. And what I mean by that is you walk down the street and if someone were to compliment you, which never happens to me, no one ever compliments me, not even on how I look, not even my hair. No one compliments me. Everyone leaves me alone. But this isn't about me. If you were to walk down the street and you, you were wearing an all black outfit and there was a lot of things that attributed to you using all the elements in fashion, which are silhouetting, proportion, portions, textures, accessories. I think there's one more, but I don't remember. I'll add that on there. But those four things attribute to a great black outfit. And if someone were to see you walking down the street while you're using all these elements, let's say this guy was walking down the street, he would get complimented. 
people would say, wow, that's such an amazing outfit. Because when you wear an all black outfit and you walk down the street and someone compliments you, you know they took the time to really look at your outfit and say, wow, that is an amazing outfit. I like all the details to it. It's extravagant, it's beautiful, it's elegant. Whatever had passed through their mind, you know they took the time to look at that outfit. Because the thing is, people crutch on color because it's, it's really eye captivating. It captures your eye because color really helps capture attention. It's really easy to wear a lot of color and make an outfit look very extravagant, very interesting, because the color does all the conversation for you. There's nothing else that is required because the color really crutches a lot of outfits. Now, I'm not saying that these outfits are bad or anything. I'm not saying that they're terrible, but the thing is you'll know when someone is crutching on color to make their outfit look good. Now, of course, there's silhouetting and proportions. People use that a lot of the times in these colorful outfits, and that makes it look more god tier, a little bit, a little, a little B tier. But when people wear all black and they really own the color, they are S plus tier because they're using all the other elements to help to kind of alleviate the fact that they're not using color. One of the elements, and I would say one of the the main elements in fashion, they have to really, really emphasize the other elements to help procure that spot in the S tier. Black forces you to use other elements that help break up the consistency of the outfit. Look, I suck at wearing black as well. Black for me isn't an easy color. Black is always going to be something a little bit difficult. But the thing is, what separates you from the rest of these heathens? All these man walking around with vintage and streetwear dudes. What makes you a better male sl You know, that is a question you gotta ask yourself. All jokes aside, my main tips for you is to really do some research and do your due diligence. Look into actual real black users. The, the users of black, the sorcerers of black. Look at their outfits. Look at what makes these outfits a little bit different from the rest. What makes it more interesting? Really analyze and experiment with your fashion. Focus on one of these elements and start branching out for you to then expand your mind, your knowledge. And soon enough, you'll be dressing way better than me. I mean, I never said it was easier to outplay me. I mean, it's pretty easy. I don't dress that great. But the thing is, to wear black is to be better than everybody else. My main point though, people should try and wear black because you can't use color as a crutch to make your outfits more interesting, but it's also really easy to make a very simple outfit and something that doesn't require you to think too much. But when you have the time and you really want to do something different, make your outfit look more interesting. Then you can try and focus on the other elements in fashion, which I think people need to really focus on to then make outfits in the future even better than before. It's like working out. You know, when you work out, you you hit the muscle group in different ways and it continues to grow and then you move on from lifts and you get stronger and stronger. I think color is kind of like end tier stuff. Um, black can be if you max out all your points in it. it, it very much can be, but let's say you're just starting off and you're just like a noob or something. Black can really help you you emphasize the other elements in fashion. And by doing that, will it only make your outfits that use color even better. Because the thing is, your parents will teach you to match the top with the shoes, and then you're good. That is all I had to say. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my philosophical and analysis of black and my thoughts and ideas about it. I will be doing more videos quite soon, hopefully in the near future, and I will see you in the next video. And if you're still watching, remember to click here or click here for the next video. Make sure you binge watch all my videos. And with that, later drainers.